there was a person by the name of Professor Ramakrishna now, who was a Hindu, and he wrote the book, Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. In this book, he takes the help of Hitler's words. What are the criteria that Hitler thought who is a genius? And he quotes Hitler and he says that a good theorist seldom is a good leader. And an agitator is much better. He has the qualities of a leader. And a person who sets rules may not be a good leader. But the best and a genius is a union of all three, a union of all three, that is a person who is a theorist, a person who is an agitator, and a person who is a leader. And rarely, it's very difficult and rare to find such a combination of all three in any human being. If it's there, it will be a genius. This was said by Hitler. After quoting Hitler, Professor Ramakrishna Rao, he gives his comments and continues and says that in the person of Prophet of Islam, the earth saw and witnessed this genius who had the combination of all who walked the earth with flesh and blood. Imagine Ramakrishna Rao, a Hindu, who is a professor, he takes the help of Hitler and uses his criteria and says, the only person in the world who was a genius who fulfilled all these criteria and was a leader was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet of Islam. Another Hindu by the name of Divan, Divan Chand Sharma, he writes in the book, The Prophets of the East, on page 112, he says that in the Prophet, you had the soul of kindness. And, and the people got the fragments and never forgot it, those who stayed around him. Jesus and Buddha would be leaders only in the third sense. But the greatest leader in human history would be Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who fulfilled all the three senses. And Moses somewhat did the same to a lesser extent. Imagine a Jew in America is saying the greatest leader after giving criteria in the history was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. <laughs>